To all the viewers, welcome to me with CGT New Media and welcome to our new episode of John Derry. And today we bring you another style of big fist. And it's not only to your eyes, but also a mouse watering episode. Today we bring you this very special scene here and to embrace a bumper apple harvest in Aksu, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And this is also our special coverage into Xinjiang. We are now at Aksu. This is at the Atarium Basin in Xinjiang, where Aksu apples are grown. Believe it or not, apples are growing in the outback of Atarium River. Aksu apples are generally harvested in October, so basically normally in this season of the year. And Aksu apple has sugar concentration. Tastes very sweet and juicy. Its place of origin is Aksu Prefecture, northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, and is supplied in markets in November. And these Aksu apples are very sweet and delicious and can be only found here in this region. So that is why we normally refer the apple from this place as Aksu apple. And Aksu apple is very special because it has a sweet heart because the sugar concentration is really high. So we also call it the Aksu sweetheart apples. And this is a Xinjiang specialty, specialty. And it's very sweet and crisp, like a fresh December morning. And these apples will have you eating more than just your apple a day. You feel so good about your snack choices when you choose one of these satisfyingly sweet apples instead of chips or candy. And this is a really vast space here because we talk about fruit is one of the key pillars to support Xinjiang's development and Aksu apple is also a key pillar here to drive the a local economic development. And flat apples that are irrigated with snow water. And the authentic Aksu rock candy heart apple has a layer of ash on the surface. So when we see the apples or hold it on the hands, and you need to sweep with your hand, and then it will become brighter. And the more you sweep it, the brighter it will be without fruit waxing. So right now we're coming to October, and normally this is the a harvest season. The fruit, the a Aksu sweetheart apple, will be harvested in October and will be available in market in November. And fruit is one of the a pillar industries in Aksu, Northwest China, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And there is a popular saying that the best apples in Xinjiang come from the Aksu area. In recent years, the apple industry has continued to develop via modern agriculture in the area, and the sweet cored apple of Aksu is well known not only in Xinjiang but also across China, as well as in the Southeast Asian countries. So from this angle, you could tell that right now we not really rely on the uh, many people to pick up the apples, for this large space, he, right now a lot of things we give machine to do the job. But still, we talk about the Aksu apples because it's irrigated with snow water and also the a Aksu apple always has a high standard for its quality. So it's the best one in China and also well known in China as well. The Aksu sweetheart apples are grown in Aksu. So this is the place located in the outback of the Tarim River, important oasis for Xinjiang. The unique production environment creates the special Aksu sweetheart apples. The apples are flat and weight around 150 gram. 
The fruit is very smooth with thick skin and flesh, a thick texture, and they have a high sugar content. And because of the cold Aksu winters, they are not affected much by plant diseases and insect pests. As Aksu apples are annually harvested in October, the supply of bagged fruit and light fruit lasts re respectively until the end or mid of March next year. However, if these apples have been in storage for a long time, the sugar content gradually drops from 90% to 20%, so the taste is the best before February next year. So looking at it, this is one of the uh, apple, the Aksu apple orchard here in Xinjiang Uyghur autonomous region. And looking at uh, this vast area, and uh, this is the one of the place here in Aksu to grow Aksu apple. And Aksu apple harvest season has always put Aksu prefecture in the spotlight, once again, Aksu Prefecture is located northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And it's not that easy to qualify as an Aksu apple. The apples can be divided into up to 28 grades based on indicators such as color, size, weight, sweetness, or whether it has the critical the a crystal sugar heart. We talk about the high standard here, why Aksu apple is so famous and so tasty because it's with very high sugar concentration inside. And we always talk about that the most important part actually is the a sugar core of the apple. That's the crystal sugar heart. The Aksu apple has captured the hearts of picky foodies for its crystal sugar heart. So it looks like a transparent core which is a result of high sugar content. And thanks to the huge diurnal variation in temperature in the prefecture. And local fruit companies actually also have introduced a new assistance to the farmers. That's an X-ray often used to help with the diagnosis of bone diseases, right now it's better standardized the quality of the sweet apples. So the equipment actually is capable of detecting the internal conditions of an apple, including sugar content, sugar heart, and whether there are any internal lesions. So these indicators will be displayed in real time. So the X-ray, the Cutting edge technology also involved in planting apples. So this is quite a big surprise, isn't it? So apples that pass the external and the internal examinations will be kept for weighting and grading, and those that failed will not be sold. So with the help of the X-ray, the quality of the Axel apples can be more st stable and guaranteed and customers can even order the fruits by certain indicators. For example, they can request that old apples must have the crystal heart and the sweetness must be no lower than 16 degrees. So this is all possible. So using the X-ray can not only increase the recognition of the apples from Aksu among consumers, but also meet the diversified needs of the clients and further raise the sales for the local farmers so they, the uh, local people can increase their earnings by using the cutting-edge technologies like X-ray. And the local fruit companies also work with institutions who to introduce a MRI, the a magnetic resonance imaging scanner in the early date to check fruit quality. Once again, you are looking at this is in Aksu, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, and this is a vast place to grow Aksu apple. 
and we talk about Aksu apple also it's a sweetheart apple because of its high sugar content so it's always have that transparent sugar cord so this very unique production environment creates the special Aksu sweetheart apples the apples are flat and weight around 150 gram the fruit is smooth with thick skin and the flesh is thick texture and they have a high sugar content. The light fruit has the lowest sweetness with an average of 15 degrees and above. The sweetness of light fruit can even reach more than 20. And the local standard for apples of the same variety is generally around 13 degrees. So the apple here, the Aksu apples, is, if you ask the taste, it's very crispy, very sweet and juicy. So the flesh is delicate and free of scum. The flesh is slightly yellow in color and has a small peat. So these apples will have you eating more than just your apple a day. Feel good about your snack choices when you choose one of these satisfyingly sweet apples instead of chips or candy. So talking about this place, this Aksu prefecture, is before a deeply impoverished area in China and fruit has become their main source of income. The local official data showed that the revenues from the forest and fruit industry account for about one third of local residents' total income. Therefore, promoting Aksu apples is a way to lift people out of poverty. And the total output of apples in Aksu is around 688,800 tons on average and the area of a fruit bearing apple or quartz is about 22,260 hectares. So once again, if you're just tuning in with CGT New Media, this is our new episode of John Dairy and we bring you a bumper harvest of Aksu apple here. We are now at Aksu, that's a term basin in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region where Aksu apples are grown. So these apples are grown in the outback of Tarim River. The Aksu apples are generally harvested in October and with a very high sugar content. So they taste very sweet and juicy and its place of origin is Aksu Prefecture, so we always refer it as the Aksu Sweetheart Apple. And the Aksu Prefecture is located northwest of Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, and the apple harvest in October and will be available in the market in November. So we talk about this is so famous. The Aksu apple is very famous and appreciated by the consumers and Aksu sweet apples always touch consumers' hearts. So the a bumper harvest here in Aksu also need to give the credit to the hard work made by the local people and local authorities because Aksu is aiming to use green transformation to drive a balanced development in Xinjiang. So this place, Aksu Prefecture, is a prefecture on the edge of the Taklamagan Desert in northwest China, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, used to be hit by sandstorms for nearly two months every year. But a three-decade forestation project has changed all that. In recent years, the focus for Aksu has been on a green transformation, which finds the right balance between environmental protection and economic development. Kakaya is the world, the word in the Uyghur language for green gullies or cliffs. 
It is also what people call an area in the north eastern suburbs of Aksu, where the sandstorms used to blow in from. But thanks to the Kakia Green Project, that is now a thing of the past. So we also talked to the a local forest rangers at the a Kakia Green Project in Aksu, and one of the a forest ranger told us that in 1987, a total of 37 staff members came here to start the Kakaya Green Project. There were lots of ceilings outline lined, so people back then thought it would be impossible to plant trees. But because of the country's trust and the family support, the, uh, these group of people have persisted until now. So with the improvement of technology here, a lot of the work on the project is machinized, and the pits where the people plant trees are all dug by a special tractor. And also the local people use drip irrigation technology to water trees, which is more convenient than before. Now Aksu has grown from a desert in 1987 to encompass about 77,000 hectares of artificial afforestation in 2017. It has had more than 20 honors bestowed on it, such as the National Landscape Garden City Award. Some visiting foreign journalists also shared their views on the project. They always stay very positive on this project. And also we can see right now all these greens. This is the three decades, more than three decades of hard work. This is, should, must be a very arduous project. So think about this. In 80, 1987, the whole place is just a vast place of desert. Um, but right now you're looking at all these bumper harvests of Aksu apple. This is a ground changing transformation happened here in Aksu prefecture. And the Aksu's green development did not stop there. In recent years, it's gradually established fruit plantations and a national wetland park. It was pushing to seek a balance between environment protection and economic development. Meanwhile, as the largest urban garden in southern Xinjiang, over 120 hectares Aksu National Wetland Park was set up in 2017, aiming to complete the whole natural ecosystem by conserving and purifying water sources. So we always talk about that lucid waters and lush mountains are invaluable assets. And right now here looking at this is a green and sustainable development. To all the viewers, right now you're looking at this is one of the Apple art cards in Xinjiang Uyghur Thomas region, and we are now at Aksu, where the Aksu apples are growing. Right now it's the harvest season, so the apples here normally harvested in October and will be available in the market in November. And these Aksu apples are very sweet and delicious and can be found only in this region. The Aksu sweetheart apples are a Xinjiang specialty. It's sweet and crisp. So these apples will have you eating more than just your apple a day. They make you feel so good if you would like to take a snack in the afternoon. So this is, could be your go-to choice. And fruit is one of the pillar industry in Aksu, Northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And there is a popular saying that the best apples in Xinjiang come from the Aksu area. And the apple industry recent years has continued to develop via modern agriculture in the area. And the sweet cord apple of Aksu is well known, not only in China, but also the people in Southeast Asian countries also enjoy the apple from Aksu. 
So we'll bring you a drone view of a sweet cord apple garden here in Aksu Prefecture and embrace a bumper harvest of apple in October. So we also talked to the, a local fruit company and they talk about the Akakia projects as we mentioned. That's the a project to really change the look of Aksu from a desert in 1987 to right now a old grain with red colors pop up here as the highlight color. So this is a really tremendous change here and due to the efforts made by the peoples of this Kakaya project. And the people said that before that in the daytime, the people, the locals even had to light candles because of the sand and the dust. But right now you're looking at all oh, these apple trees they are both the ecological guards, but also the money-making trees. So right now, the a Kakia project has become a lot ecological name card of Ax region and important base for the development of forestry and economic development here. So people no more suffered from that two months long dust and sandstorms. And also through the a planting trees of apples and other afforestation, the a whole sand actually is fixed. So people see a very positive changes here in Aksu place. So with the arduous efforts, people here change the a Gobi Desert to a big apple garden and also make that apple as a key pillar of the local economy. So right now apple, growing apple and selling apple is one of the a key industry here in Aksu. And Aksu growing apple is also a way to lift people out of poverty and also to further expand the channels of income for local farmers. So the local fruit companies follow the a business model of a company plus the apple base plus local farmers. So the farmers can join the company by owning the shares and also use their land or the a people as the way to get shares of the company. So the uh, apple industry cr have created more jobs for the local people and according to the people from the uh, local fruit company and the farmers right now enjoyed a very stable income and also that the incremental part or the uh, per capita income increased more than 11,000 yuan So people here has every reason to believe uh, the apple industry is very promising and it will create more jobs and also more income for local farmers. Uh, 
and the Aksu places. Also aim to plant more trees and also to achieve more grains. The a forest covering areas from the 3.35% in 1986 to 8.9%. And the companies also work with universities and institutes to focus on the cutting edge technology to boost the output of Aksu apples and also to guarantee the high quality and taste and sweetness of the Aksu apple. And at the same time, they also developed the environmental friendly ways to plant apples and to use in the a zero pollution fertilizing fertilizers and also use the a drip irrigation techniques to achieve the environmental friendly way to plant apples and also to lower the cost and increase output and also in a very smart way to use the resources So we talk about how to plant the apple trees and then how to sell the apples. So we talk about there is a path to more modern times. The live streaming actually is a new way to help local farmers to boost their sales of apples. The Xinjiang's fruit industry is growing thanks to live streaming and new marketing strategies. So we talk about right now is the harvest season, but three months before the harvest time at this apple orchard, a lot of the orders already received. So that's three months before the harvest time. Looking at the a, all these places, the apples are actually already booked and ordered, and also the uh, local farmers are very busy locking the pre-orders from their live streaming session. And the fruit growers actually themselves as the host of the live streaming, and also the live streaming has become a popular marketing model in recent years in Xinjiang, because like the uh, local farmers, the fruit growers can show customers how they plant the products as well as ways to ripen fruits. Live streaming is the most convenient way to show the production process. So the sales have gone up 40% since the local fruit growers started live streaming. And fruit production is one of the main sources of income for locals in Aksu. And the fruit industry accounts for over 60% of the a local people's total income in Wensu County. And the many gr fruit growers are working to expand their businesses through live streaming. And also the government usually sent different teams of experts to Aksu to teach locals how to sell their product online or how to plant the apples in a smarter way. So there are also the help from the local authorities as well. A report by Taobao Live and Ali Research showed that that's the a research arm of e-commerce giant Alibaba shows that live streaming helped sales bonds back during the pandemic last year. For example, a single Taobao live stream for Apple sales in Aksu in April last year drew about 400,000 viewers and resulted in over 3,600 orders. New marketing mechanisms are also giving impetus to development in the area as well as the whole region. At Xinjiang and the Zhejiang joined together under China's Pairing Assistance Program and have launched the so-called 10 Cities, 100 Stores project. The initiative established public warehouses in 10 cities in Zhejiang and promotes products from Aksu through a hundred retail outlets. 
Data shows that from 2020 until June this year, Zhejiang sold 350,000 tons of agricultural products from Aksu via online and offline channels, with the sales volume reaching 5 billion yuan, or over 770 million US dollars. So the local farmers, with the help of the experts from the universities and the research institute, used X-ray to tell the healthy of the apple during the planting process, and also they could receive pre-orders. And the a customers or their clients and also can require the a certain certain indicators in terms of size or the sweetness. So all these can meet their requirements, so they can pre-order what kind of exact indicators of actual apples they want. And right now also, that three months at least before the harvest time, the local fruit growers started their live streaming online to sell their apples. And this is also a big boost for the sales of Aksu apples. And China is the world's largest apple grower and consumer. And it's also launched the world's first apple futures contracts on the commodity exchange in Henan province in December 2017 to help growers hedge against risks amid price fluctuations. So China's apple output has been increasing over the past decade. It had 2 million hectares of apple trees with an output of 43.88 million tons in 2016, accounting for 57% of global supply. Apple growing is an important part of China's poverty alleviation campaign, as many of the country's impoverished area rely on the crops as a major income source. The country has been stressing the role that financial services play in the real economy and issued futures contracts for commodities including wet sugar, soy beans, and cotton yarn, and also apple. Once again, you're looking at this is a really vast base in Aksu Prefecture, in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. A bumper harvest of apples has brought joy to fruit growers in Aksu Prefecture, northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. And the, normally, the apple growers, their apples before the harvest time had been reserved by buyers outside Xinjiang. And Aksu apples have become highly sought after on the Chinese and foreign markets, as Aksu has an arid, temperate continental climate and long sunlight hours, which are ideal conditions for apple planting. And the local people, the fruit, especially apple growers, saying that the fruit has seen swift sales, bringing the fortune to the locals. And talk about the Xinjiang as a whole. The Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region relies a lot on fruit and is also known as the home of fruit here in China. The Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, the, some say that once you taste what's growing in Xinjiang, the same fruits produced elsewhere will seem tasteless. This is because the long sunlight here, hours here in Xinjiang and the wide temperature differences between day and night make its variety sweeter and juicier. 
the best season for fresh fruit is between July and September. Dried fruits will hit markets in September and October because of the region's dry weather. Many fruits are dried naturally. And a typical dried fruit from Xinjiang contains about 10% of water, which means a longer shelf life. And talk about the A. Typical fruit here from Xinjiang is a cherry. So it's best from Kashgar. And cherries joined the Xinjiang's fruit family in the 21st century. Two of the A species were imported from the other places, and many more areas of the region right now have begun to grow cherries in recent years. And cherries from Xinjiang are generally sweeter and juicier than those produced elsewhere. And cherry blossoms also attract many tourists each year. And the best season for cherry is June. Another fruit is fig. And they have a extremely high sugar content. And the uh, fresh figs are very delicious. But they are difficult to transport. The figs were brought to Xinjiang via the ancient Silk Road during the Tang Dynasty from Central Asia. And some researchers claimed that the a fig was the a forbidden fruit described in the Bible story of Eve in the Garden of Eden. And the best day season to enjoy the fresh fig is August and to enjoy the dried fig is October. Another is apple here from Aksu and because of the unique weather conditions, apple from the certain parts of Aksu have unique crystal centers which are actually so the a high concentration of sugar. Aksu produces only the a quite large number of apples with the a crystal crystal heart that's a very transparent core of the apple and almost all of them are pre-booked by wholesalers years in advance the apple growers in the areas in Aksu are also enjoying the benefits from these Aksu apples so the best best season of Aksu apples is now October because right now is the harvest time. Another key fruits from Xinjiang is apricot and also from Aksu prefecture. And the best season to enjoy the apricot is also October. And once again, you are looking at it. this is a large places. This is not just some grain. This is the Aksu apple trees. And right now is the a harvest time here in Aksu. I'm talk about all these apples actually are already booked and pre-booked by the wholesalers and clients. And also the local growers actually did many live streamings before the harvest time. So the Aksu in Xinjiang Uyghur Thomas region is the hometown of China's rock candy heart apple. And due to its excellent location of 41 degrees north latitude, the apples here enjoy sunlight in all four seasons and taste very sweet. The apples are also made into apple juice, dried apple or cider and sold home and abroad, becoming a pillar industry for locals. In September, the apples begin to ripen, and Aksu of Xinjiang is the home of China's rock candy hard apple, and also received many awards for its high quality and also facilitate the income of farmers' income. 
and also a key driver to bring people out of poverty. And we talk about Apple, Aksu Apple. It's very popular online and also it's helped the local farmers get additional pay. And the fruit is very important. And also don't forget, this is Apple from Aksu, so it's always sweetened live in Xinjiang and hope that also your sweetheart fruit for your day and hope that sweet apple can make your day and this is the episode here this is our episode of drone diary and we will see you next time at our new episode <laughs>